Hey, so what's up guys? So I decided to be stupid and train Dickweed. Um, yes, that's right, his name is Dickweed. Thank you, Conquer Fan 364. I never played Conquer, but it's cool that you're a fan and you represent him. Um Mantits is a cool guy. I enjoyed grinding you. I couldn't say the same for Dickweed, who only has tackle and will not have anything better until like level 40 gajillion. So with that, I'm gonna start using you. <laughs> Go talk to me. Let me teach you a thing or two about training Pokemon. Uh, like, it's just, I say it over and over, but I just can't stress enough how much of a gripe it is. Like, that the movesets in this game are just so... Oh. Like, I mean, some Pokemon will have a decent moveset by level, like, 40, maybe. But, like, when the best move, attacking move, you learn in your moveset is Mega Drain. It's like, what do you have to look forward to? It's just like, I like using this Pokemon, but I don't like using this Pokemon. <laughs> um, that's what I, I mean, I don't know. I kind of wish this hack had more cool TMs, but uh, I'm pretty sure that, he, well, see, Psych Up wasn't a TM, was it? <laughs> I don't remember Psycho being a TM in Gold and Silver, but a lot of the other TMs I've recognized so far as being as they were in Gold and Silver. Like, I'm pretty sure Defense Girl was a thing, but maybe I'm just completely wrong again, and everyone's like, why is this guy just spouting nonsense the whole episode? <laughs> uh, you guys do that regardless, so it's fine. But, um, wow, great for the battle. <laughs> you won it, so it's fine. Um, but, yeah. I was kind of hoping there would be like more custom TMs, but I mean, I guess that's a personal choice to... Alright, let's use our real Pokemon. <laughs> but I was also hoping there would just be more available TMs by this point. But I guess we'll get to that sooner or later. <laughs> I think it's soon, if not already now, but... <laughs> in case, I've already gotten pretty far in my other file and I know pretty much what I need to, so I'm gonna be pretty boring and everyone's gonna be like, OMG, no surprise factor. I taught you, bitch. I'm impressed. No one's ever taught the teacher before. Really? Really? I mean, isn't that like a common thing? Like, the student has surpassed the master, and then like, you know, they kind of learn from the student. That's sort of like a bit of reciprocality. <laughs> That's how you pronounce words, right? The jungle entrance. Where's the entrance? Where the fuck is the- <laughs> I make funny jokes, I know it's there, guys. Ah, stop taking me so seriously. Hey, I'm fishing here. Alright. <laughs> you could've just said, Bro, let me get back to my shit, and I could've been like, Alright, Maurice. <laughs> Maurice. Instead, you're like, no, you bothered me for a split second, and now I have to drop everything I'm doing and bow you with my shitty fish that evolves into a, to a octopus. A octopus. That's exactly what it does. Fuck vowels. Ugh. Go to jungle. Hey, hold up. You're off to the jungle, right? There's an extremely dangerous giant cobra wandering around out there. If you see it, please stay away from it. Alright. I saw the... I totally heard the... How... How dire the situation was with your voice of which you spoke to me at two. So just like, I don't know, like... Just go watch episode 17. No, this is episode 17. Go watch episode 18. It'll be better, maybe, probably not, but... I'll, I'll have more sleep. It's way too late for me to be doing this. It's not at all. I'm just get running on like three hours of sleep for the whole week. LOL Summer Class Finals. Um, you guys have no sympathy. You shouldn't. These videos suck and I'm trying to act like these are good. It's cool though. Um, wait, this might do... No, nah, never mind. I'm fired up too. <laughs> Cause I was like, wait a minute. Bug? Dark? Which I always found weird. How come bugs are super effective against dark. You know, besides the whole oh, lol, let's balance it out or something. I never got the actual logic behind it, if there was ever meant to be any 
actual logic behind it. <laughs> eh. Oh well. Yo. Why am I using Jump Love? If it can't even... Why... Like, Dickweed can't even learn Fly. Like, that could have made him at least moderately okay to use. He would have had a pretty strong attack with Stab. And instead he has to deal with Tackle. <laughs> For like the next 10 or so levels, unless I get Giga Drain. Ho ho ho, I wonder when that'll be. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of my catchphrase. <laughs> is that kind of my catchphrase? Yeah, you know. The ho ho ho, let me be all sarcastic and act like I don't know what I'm saying, but I really do, but kind of don't anyway. Yeah, that's kind of my catchphrase. Maybe, I don't know. Ho ho ho. Oh yeah. Repels, cuz. I don't need fucking shit. <laughs> uh, the jungle is a cool place to go camping! <laughs> I love... Like, what was Nintendo thinking when they decided to do a camper class? Ooh, camper lock! <laughs> like, I guess I get it, you know, like, the whole setting of Pokemon is based off adventuring, so I guess it's being in touch with wilderness. So I guess that's why they got the camper, and eventually they got the rangers, and then they got etc etc. All right, you know I'll accept it. That, that, you did a you did a good justification. You've proven me acceptable to your point of view. I will tolerate you. But seriously, why can't fucking dickweed learn fly? Like, come on. <laughs> uh, it's an interesting team we have, though. I I decided to yeah. Uh, I decided to replace uh. Thing of Suzanne with Dickweed, because I figured, well, it's not really that good. <laughs> like, I don't know. It doesn't really learn any moves. At least until we get TMs, and I don't really know what TMs are actually available, because I haven't really checked. And that's not till like, at least a bit later on anyway. <laughs> I like how I'm just basically saying, oh, wait till later for shit to happen. <laughs> like, I'm really good at keeping you guys interested. <laughs> But basically, I don't know, I, I figured Pegasus and he just wasn't cutting it so far. Maybe, maybe she'll be back later. Maybe not a fairy will be back later. Who knows? We have a lot of Pokemon in our box that'll probably never be used. <laughs> but it's cool. It's better than... It's nice to have options that I'd be relatively okay with using. It's like, oh, three of our Pokemon died? I guess we'll use Centred, Rattata, and Zubat. <laughs> uh, too much. Too much of that. Never again, please. Miltank. I think Kono's Shell. Kono's Shell is up to snuff with this kind of situation over here. I think he'd, I think he'd handle it. I think he's a pretty cool guy. I, I was pretty close to not using him before he evolved. I was like, this guy sucks so much. He's not doing anything. He's doing more damage to himself whenever he uses takedown. And his other move is self-destruct. Why is this guy on my team? <laughs> and then I got rollout. And then he evolved. And then good times were happening. But this guy needs to stop using growl when I'm trying to get super strong. <laughs> I think I'm doing slightly. Yeah, I, I totally do. <laughs> You're a cool guy. Milk Drake, really? First of all, that's just... That's just nasty. <laughs> Everyone, every Let's Player probably made a comment on how... Like, atrocious the idea of him healing by just like sucking on his own stomach is. And I'm gonna do it too, that's fucking crazy! <laughs> uh, originality? Fuck that! <laughs> Weeping Bell. That was my fifth rollout, so I think I'm gonna... Go Hedgewig. Hedgewig life. I'm surprised I'm still using Hedgewig, and I'm really surprised at how little my team has been getting right, besides that one episode where, like, I lost two of my pretty okay Pokemon. You know, I had Skanky, and I honestly don't remember who the second one was. Uh, it's terrible, but I just can't for the life of me remember who I lost. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it was pretty bad, but it's almost to the point where I'm like... I feel as though I should lose more Pokemon. But I also don't want to lose more Pokemon. <laughs> yeah? Oh, lol, this is why I didn't feel like... <laughs> I didn't feel like running into new Pokemon. You, you, 
You think you could take it on your own? This should be a piece of cake. Just stay here on my back. <laughs> Wink. And neither of us gets hurt. Okay. So, this is the Arbok the guard warned me about. Might be a bit risky, but I've got no choice. I must battle this thing. <laughs> hey guys, did you know his spell... Wow, I'm playing pretty late. That was an amazing cutscene. <laughs> his spell... <ba> <laughs> The game's like, don't even make that joke. Just shut the fuck up. I, I, all right, I, I got you, game. I'll stop. Uh, all right, how do I want to do this? So yeah, pretty much the Pokemon in this area are fairly meh. I'm pretty sure all of them you've run into already. I don't think there's anyone new. Hmm. Yeah. So I figured, why not? You know, I, I don't think. I mean, no, you could have had an Ekans in like one of the early routes, but actually, I don't know what I'm saying. I remember there was a trainer in one of the early routes, and then I nicknamed the episode. I nicknamed it. Yeah, the episode has a nickname. <laughs> I named the episode Snakes on a Plane because I was like, OMG, I have so much humor, and everyone's gonna appreciate me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but. What was my point? <laughs> don't. Fuck you, scumbag. Uh, I should have used you from the start. But yeah, uh, basically... What was my oh yeah, yeah. Pokemon in this route aren't really that interesting to use. Because uh, you've pretty much seen them all. So, um, I figured let's get an Arbok. <laughs> it's level 32. I probably won't use it. But if I ever actually do use it, it'd be nice if you fucking stayed in your fucking shitty ass ball. Yeah, I'm glaring at you, you're fucking over dramatic hyper beam, but not. <laughs> like, come on, get in. Like, seriously, I don't, I don't like super speeding. <laughs> do it. What are you doing? Stop doing three. <laughs> That's frustrating. <laughs> like, uh, alright, if you do three and then like two another time, I'll be like, alright, maybe I'm a bit far off from this. But you do three every time. I'm just like, mmm. I probably should have used the Ultra Ball from the start. Uh, but it's okay, because we had some really awesome commentary for you guys. Uh, OMG, Arbok, Arbus. Eh, it's kind of close, I guess. I don't really see a correlation. What should I call you? It's gotta be, it's gotta be, it's gotta be hilarious. It's gonna be so clever, and OMG. Uh, ooh, that was weird. <laughs> I like how it started off with the, but then it was like, nah, nah, we're not going to continue. <laughs> wow, you really did it. May I ask what your name is? I'm Axeman. I don't know why I'm reading that. Me? Well, I'm going to have to name her. Hey, let's call you something really mature and creative and really just something that invigorates a lot of philosophical thought. I'm Booby. Thanks so much for saving me. Hey, don't mention it. I couldn't have left you in trouble like that. No way. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it was nice to meet you, Wax Man. Say, why don't you pay me a visit at my house later? <laughs> you can find me at Arjun Warehouse. <laughs> Dad, love it, Trist. Oh, she looked back at me, and oh, my, my guy's confused, and he's like, OMG, what's happening? Oh, nah. She just dropped her bow, and I gotta return it to her. Because she wants to make sure I come. I see. I see. I know she interested. <laughs> Nothing gets past Dax, man. Oh, yeah. I guess I gotta go save this guy. BRB. Alright, seriously, fuck you guys. I can fly now. It's not really an issue. <laughs> Oh. Ah, Alright, so let's continue this episode and be all productive and shit. Yeah, I say that every time, and I'm always like, LOL, all the other episodes were not productive. <laughs> see, at first, I'm talking. See, that's my new thing. I'm just commenting on all the things I typically comment, and now. <laughs> I'm just getting mad at myself for not being able to do anything better. I'm sorry, I can't be better for you guys.
<laughs> I want to be intriguing. <laughs> I don't want to be spin a whack. <laughs> oh wow, that was actually worse than the Flintstones. <laughs> that legitimately was the worst thing I've said. <laughs> Yo, fuck you, Glare was more intense. <laughs> All these wannabe hyper beams that do no damage. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> It really takes away from Hyper Beam when you actually see Hyper Beam. <laughs> but at the same time it doesn't, because then like the whole screen is just going apeshit and you're like, OMG, my Pokemon are dying left and right. <laughs> uh, Lance is way too easy. He really was compared to first gen. But you already know that, I don't have to do a commentary about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's how it happens. Yeah, you send a Pokemon out, then it, it doesn't kill it completely even though it's seven levels higher and has a type advantage. <laughs> oh, but Axeman, you're using Ember and that's a very weak attack. <laughs> Fuck you. I have a name, you know. <laughs> it's Alex. I would really appreciate it if that made no difference. You could call me Axeman. It's, you know, it's really whatever. It's, you know, it's your opinion, hearsay, etc, etc. And it's like... Why am I trying to make a pun with Eridos? <laughs> Why am I still trying to make a pun with Eridos? <laughs> Why did I say like Eridos? <laughs> this area does not fit in well with YouTube. Just leave my channel. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but that's totally a face. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Here, the attack will be useful for once ever. <laughs> cool. You did your part. You win. <laughs> Ish. Huh? Oh, I totally thought he was learning... What's it called? Confusion. Then I realized I was like level 42 or something. <laughs> like, I really think Growl might be useful. <laughs> Yell at me, I don't care. <laughs> I have my reasons that will never be proven true. <laughs> it was about that girl who passed by a moment ago. Okay. Um, is there anything here? There's a guy there. That means time spent. Battling. <laughs> eh, you know, whatever. <laughs> like, I'm sure you guys watch this to actually watch this. I'm a bigger fan of Pokemon than you'll ever be. LOL, obligatory, you're fatter to me joke. Uh, I'm creative and... But seriously, like, I know I said that all the time in Vietnamese Crystal, but that guy is totally kidnapping that kid. <laughs> like, he just looks so mad, but... Alright, maybe he's not kidnapping him, but maybe he's like... He's like the sick uncle that's, like, constantly dragging him to do stuff with him. And, like, the parents are like, oh, it's okay, he's family. But, like, the kid knows that that, that uncle is... He's just not... He's just not. Like, you just don't want. You don't want. And it's just... <laughs> I said no, and he just kept asking for it, and he just kept forcing for it, and it's just... It's like, no man. You don't do that. Not even the family. Alright? It's like, you don't. It's tough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't say yes, but I just couldn't do it. There's hundreds of Pokemon in our world. Yet some think there are hundreds more we don't even know about. Cause LOL 4 gen, and 3rd gen, and 5th gen, and OMG 6th gen, are you guys excited for X and Y? <laughs> That's what I'm doing now, asking you guys to just answer mundane questions. <laughs> the whole comment section is just like, yes. Sure. Maybe. I don't even like Nintendo anymore. Most most kids play new games on the DS or Gaba, but for me, the original Game Boy games will always be the best. You know, I like the Game Boy Color games more. That Mickey over there is from the jungle. It seems to enjoy the company of people. <laughs> I went the whole episode without making a Welcome to the Jungle reference. <laughs> oh, Pooey. Hey, Tim! Hmm? The guy that stopped Arbok! And that's all he does. <laughs> and with that, see ya! <laughs>